In this video, we're gonna be using Katie's Bubbles Blue Gere, which you see right there, and the PAA L Phantasma Razor for Dome Shape. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Katie's Bubbles Blue Gere. And I'm using a sample here that was sent to me by the white wizard, Gandalf of wet shaving, uh, and that is Doug Bear, the barely normal wet shaver. He, he was kind enough to send me the sample. I'm not gonna give you the details of the soap in terms of cost or ingredients because it's not available. And typically, I don't like to use things that aren't available, but I'm doing this video with the hopes that Chris will see this and maybe make it available. This soap was made for the East Coast Wet Shavers Meetup, but I think this is good enough that it should be in his regular uh, offerings. Beautiful, beautiful scent. You definitely get that blueberry and it's fougerish in nature. Um, but to me, I primarily get the blueberry with a little bit of that green in the background, but I'm thinking more blue than green, which is great for me. I love this scent. Scent strength is about five right at medium. Thank you again, Doug, for sending this. And we're gonna be using the PAA El Phantasma razor. Comes in a box like this. It does glow in the dark, as you've seen me <laughs> demonstrate before. Uh, feather blade in there, and this razor is based on the Faison double slant razor of the 1930s. And no, this is not the same razor as the PAA Bakelite. This is far more torqued, uh, providing far more slant, slant action. So, you know me, I don't really care that much about uh, using DE razors on the dome. I prefer the leaf or razor like that, but today, We'll give this a shot. It's a new razor. I figure I might as well put it through its paces and we're gonna start out by using a little PAA pre-shave cube. Why not? We have it, we may as well use it. And again, uh, I really prefer razors like the Leaf or other offerings of its type. They just work better for me on the dome. But again, this razor was sent to me for evaluation. So I figure uh, we have it. We may as well give it a go on the dome and just see how I like it or if I like it. It may not go well, you never know. I don't use these type of razors a ton on my head. I used to use them like once a week just to sort of stay in practice, but eventually I just sort of settled in on the leaf just because I, I enjoyed those shaves more. Uh, but there are many people who use straights, shavettes, and DE razors on the dome and they really love it. Um, I just prefer the other offerings to be honest. So let's go ahead and apply some more moisture. And that's just plain water if you're wondering. And I'm using the uh, PAA Amber Aerolite brush because it's what I used this morning. And so I figure it was handy, might as well use it again. And this uh, Katie's Bubbles makes a nice lather. Um, Katie's Bubbles is great stuff and you saw that flying off there. I've got decent hydration in this. And uh, this, this stuff, Katie's Bubbles, still works great. You know, it doesn't get the attention perhaps it wants did, but it should, because it's still good stuff, still works great. And if you do your job, it will do its job. And that's really the most important thing to remember. Are you doing your job? Are you shaving well? And we hope we will today, but we don't always. And so there might be some mishaps along the way, but I assure you that will be my error and not the soap, because this is a, a proven soap that's been around many years. As I mentioned the last time I used Katie's Bubbles, he was also an artisan that helped uh, quite a few other artisans when they're first starting out who are now competitors of his and he helped them knowing full and well, <laughs> you know, he might have to compete against them. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean up that neck there a little bit. And that's one of the things that I think it's that's important to do. Whether you're a head shaver or not, you know, if you're getting unruly back there on the neck, just clean it up. There's no need to have that neck looking looking bad if we're especially for a shaving hobbyist, you know. So when I see that on videos, I'm like, clean up the neck, man. <laughs> clean up the neck. So especially if you're a dome shaver, you've got no excuse. You're gonna have a razor back there in that area anyway. I might as well just clean it up. No sense in having that unruly, in my opinion. So let's see if we can shave well today with this slant razor. Again, it does glow in the dark. And I know some people get kind of put off by that. And I don't really know why. I mean, it's just a, it's a novelty thing. Um, it's just kind of 
add something a little bit different, but you know, I have seen comments, oh, you know, glows, but you know, it's one of those things where if it's not for you, it's no big deal, but it's kind of cool in its own way. This is a very, very light razor. And I don't know if I've ever used a razor this light on the dome. So maybe we'll have a good run with it. Maybe it's what the doctor orders to me. So far, it feels a little easier to use than, uh, you know, like the stainless D's. Now on my face, I do prefer more weight, but this is feeling a little more comfortable to me um, for whatever the reason. So who knows, maybe I'll take to this razor if it does well, or if I do well, more importantly. Again, we really want to bring the focus back in these videos to the shaver. We're the ones, you know, we're the ones doing the work. The tools are here to assist us in that. And most of these tools are good, you know, quite frankly. Most of the tools today, the shaving wares are pretty doggone good. Feather blade in here, in case I've mentioned, didn't mention it, and this will be the last use. I use a blade three times, uh, a D blade three times, and then I'm done, regardless of how it feels. Just because I don't see the need to extend um, use of these, you know, blades that are pretty inexpensive. The main thing that's different about shaving your head with a DE razor is that that angle is constantly changing. Whereas on your face, the angle doesn't change that much. It changed like if you go over your jawline and things, but curves and contours on the head force you to sort of change the angle to keep the blade in contact, and that's why uh, razors like the Leaf and say Defender, Harry's, whatever, are so effective because they pivot and they keep that angle for you. Whereas with a razor like this, it's all you. And so if you're a, a very good head shaver, it's no problem. If you're very experienced at it, and if you're not, it pre presents more of a challenge. And even though I've used DE's on the dome quite a bit over the years. I would still say I'm not particularly great at it. I can feel the blade there. Um, it's not menacing. Overall, I think I would still call this a, a mild shaver. But as you can see, it takes me a little longer to use this than say it would the leaf, or at least I think so. It's in my head. <laughs> if it's not in reality, I'm certainly thinking that it's taking me a little bit longer. One of the things that happens with me with these on the dome is I tend to miss some spots, whereas I don't miss quite as much with the uh, with the leaf and so on. Be careful around the ears. Um, most of the cuts that I've sustained on my head, not all, but most, tend to be around the ears. You can get that ear there without thinking about it. It's just like a, this one does have a tab. So you could, in theory, nick that ear with that tab. I have never cut myself with the tabs, but you know some people really don't like them. Um, it's never been particularly problematic for me, but I mean, you may be one of those people that that presents a problem for. Uh, not, not a big deal for me. So the first pass was very nice. The Katie's Bubbles, this is a terrific scent. I really like it. And Chris, if you happen to be watching, and I'm not sure that he sees all of these videos, or I, I know he doesn't see all of mine, but maybe I hope he watches the ones with his brand in it. If you see this, uh, I hope you would consider bringing this out for regular purchase. Uh, I missed it when it was out. I don't even know when it was out, but it is a good one and uh, I like it. And I would definitely buy this soap, I'll tell you right now. The scent, I just love it. And I'm looking forward to using the sample of the aftershave that Doug sent me. Thank you again, Doug. Doug, we call him, or at least I call him the White Wizard, meaning like Gandalf from uh, Lord of the Rings. Just he's always, you know, coming up with things. And he he, uh, is, he sort of seems like an old wizard, you know, the wise. And he's white, you know, his, his hair is white. So kind of reminds me of the, the White Wizard. And... He uh, has some very interesting takes on things and different techniques, and he's sort of always 
always looking to learn something and always looking to share his knowledge. Like you would imagine an old wizard would. Not that he's old, because honestly, I don't think he's really all that much older than I am. Maybe a handful of years, but not, not a ton. So when we refer to him as a as the, the white wizard, we don't mean old. <laughs> Wise? Yes. Old? No, not really. But wise being the main point I would like to emphasize. So, so far, I think this feels pretty good. It's not as comfortable for me as the leaf, but then again, I use the leaf razor all the time, and this is the first time I've ever shaved my head with this. But so far, it's feeling pretty good. I do have a bump on the back of my head, so I'm trying not to cut it, but I'll make no assurances <laughs> that I don't. But I, I can feel it, and so I'm trying not to cut it. But I think this razor is actually doing a pretty good job, surprisingly good. And I think the weight on this, I actually like it. So it makes me think that maybe I might appreciate an aluminum razor on the dome, whereas I normally want stainless steel um, DE razors on a face. I just like the additional weight on the dome. I think, I don't think I mind this light razor. Um, I'm not sure why that is, because my preference is definitely a more weighty razor generally, but this feels pretty good actually. And I'm just gonna work the back here. A little bit, I hope everyone is doing well. I don't know what day I'll air this, but whenever that is, I hope you are doing well and I hope you're getting some excellent shaves. And boy, I'll tell you what, thank you, Doug, for this soap. I really like this scent. And it's one I would definitely purchase, I'll tell you that right now. So thank you for the sample. I really appreciate it. And I hope that Chris will give us the opportunity to purchase this. When I got the sample, I went on the past doors thinking maybe they might have some, and they didn't, sadly. But uh, I'm hoping Chris will consider. Um, and I don't know, maybe it's a seasonal thing. Maybe he does bring it out. Maybe he's taking it down, or if it was just a one-time thing. But Chris, this is the one time you should listen. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did cut that bump on the back, by the way, because I could see a little bit of blood in the in the razor, but honestly, this doesn't feel too bad. And I think it's actually doing a pretty good job. Now, one of the things I wanna mention is when you see those lather tracks like that on the head, that means the blade is not in contact with the skin as much as it should be. So that means I'm doing a poor job in other words. And that really is the challenge with using these on the dome is to make sure you're keeping that blade in contact um, throughout the shave and especially throughout the curves, contours. And that's what makes head shaving more challenging. Everything is a curve almost. You'll have some slightly almost flat areas, but almost everything is a curve. Unless you're Frankenstein and have a flat head, you know, and most of us don't. And so most people who shave their head or have shaved their head will readily agree that the degree of difficulty is a little bit higher, both because everything is curved uh, and round, and you also have imperfections that you're dealing with. Everyone also has a crease in the back of their head where it comes to the neck, which can be challenging. And also, you can't see, you know. So you're going off feel for a good half of the shave, just like right now. I have no idea what's going back there other than feeling. It does work. Um, but I must say, I think I'm pretty well pleased. Um, I just gotta, you know, keep working this. And there is a good residual slickness on this soap, which is why I'm not having to re-lather. Really, all I need to do is add some hydration here, and it's gonna be perfectly slick. Katie's bubble still gets it done. And uh, that's really the main thing. Very nice. All you need to do is add a little bit of water. And again, I'm not, you should always have lather when you're shaving, but when you develop a certain amount of experience, you could certainly get by with just that residual slickness. 
Let's tighten that up a little bit. If I can just get these remaining areas here, we're gonna be good to go. And boy, I have enjoyed this. So thank you again, Doug. Really appreciate it. And in that unboxing, if you missed it, Doug sent me a hand-tied fly for, uh, which was awesome for fishing. And I really appreciate that. Let's get some more lather going here. A few spots I need to get. Let's just pull out some of this lather and just get this spot. These spots here are always the most difficult to get. And again, I did, I did get that bump on the back. So if you see some red, <laughs> that's why. Just trying to get BBS here, a level cue ball, as I like to call it, on the dome. Smooth as a cue ball. Or actually any pool bottle, it pool ball, not bottle. Very nice. What do we have left? A little bit right there. This is much easier when I use the leaf, just because I'm used to it. But I must say, I am not displeased with the shave here, because I think it's actually been pretty effective. As far as DE goes, this has actually been one of the more pleasant DE shaves, despite, you know, opening up that little bump there. I think I've done a pretty good job, actually. Let's see if I can get that a little tight. And that is good. So let me rinse it and we'll come back, uh, get into the post and try the aftershave. Stay tuned. All right. And back we come with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel in a spray bottle. And off cam, I did use the PAA Allen block. I hit that spot on the back of the dome there. So hopefully that will tighten that up. And that was a very, very nice shave um, with the PAA L Phantasma slant razor feather blade. That worked, that went very, very well. The the Katie's Bubbles Blueger sample, which I'll show you again what it looks like. Uh, again, we have a good bit left. And so we will send this on to another shaver. And please, if somebody's good enough to send you a, a healthy sample, try it, send it on to someone, spread the love. And we will do the same with the Blue Jair aftershave sample today. We will uh, use about half of this, and then we shall send the rest, well, a little over half, but there'll be enough for another shaver to use, and that is great. Ah, yes. I really like this. I hope Chris will consider uh, bringing it back for sale at some point. Thank you very, very much, uh, Doug Bear. I really appreciate it. It looks like I got a little red on my finger there, so I've, I've still got that <laughs> cut opened up back there, but we will take care of it in a moment. I wanna thank everyone for joining us. <laughs> I'm your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.